East African learners have, Trevor, is the interesting relationship between some key Swahili words and Hebrew words. Um, the common root is the Arabic. And as we know, the Arab, Arab traders came down the eastern seaboard, uh, Somalia, Kenya, Tanzania, trading and establishing themselves along the coast. And their language filtered into the mother tongue language and, and was part of the evolution of the Kiswahili, which has become uh, a common language uh, for many East African countries like Uganda, Kenya, um, Tanzania, uh, Rwanda, and so forth. I'm not Uganda so much, I guess, so forgive me for that. But it's a lot of fun if you listen carefully to hear this relationship between Hebrew words and Kiswahili words. Uh, for example, in Hebrew, we have the word for gold. Together, everyone, Zahav. Trevor, Zahav. 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 Listen carefully to the Kiswahili, Dahabu. We have, uh, can you hear some similarity there? Zahav, Dahabu. Yeah. Nice. The Hebrew word for hour is Sha'a. Together, Sha'a. Sha'a. Sha and our Kiswahili cognate is sa, which means the hour. Actually, I guess you pronounce it sa, means hour or time. Yes. Right. Sa. Joseph, would you would you like to continue leading us in these cognates kindly? Yes. We have. The Hebrew word shul in Swahili it is shule. Together for school. Uh, nice. Shul. Okay. Sure. Very nice. Shul. Very nice. The Hebrew word beracha. In Swahili, it is baraka, or blessings. Beracha. 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 Nice. The Hebrew word kibail, in Swahili, kukubali. Kibel. 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 Nice. Now, Joseph, you tell me if um, it this really accept. translates properly to accept. Take a challenge at the Hebrew without vowels, and I'll help you, brother. It starts with Kibel Elef. Okay. Kibel Elef. Brahot Mimeni. Very nice. Would you like to take a shot at that, uh, Trevor? We have the English written out of the Hebrew. Kibel Elef Brahot Mimeni. Kibel Elef Brahot Mimeni. Very nice. Now, now Joseph, be, be honest with me. Is this a fair? Kiswahili translation, or would you not see this? It is uh, fair. Okay. Kukubali baraka elfu kutoka kwangu. We can oh. just remove the double K to have kubali baraka elfu kutoka ah. kwangu. So a proper, infin a proper imperative, a yes. command would, would be, I got gotcha. you. Hold on a sec. Instead of double K U K U, yes, Kubali accept 
a thousand blessings from me. Very nice. That's what it means. Right. And I do, I do, Pastor. I accept a thousand blessings from you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Continue kindly. The Hebrew word Misman is pronounced the same as Swahili word Zamani uh -huh. to means in the past, some some time ago. Yes, some times ago. Uh huh. Very nice. Misman. Continue. Scroll down. Well, oh. Do you have it? Yes, we have add. In Swahili, it means hardy. Nice. Until or up to something like that yes until okay. until uh-huh and delay tisha in swahili is also pronounced as tisa for number nine do you recall some of the numbers from your studies trevor achat stein Shalosh. Yes, vaguely, very yeah. vaguely. Arba, Chamesh, Sheish, Sheva, Tisha. How many numbers can you recall? Gideon, are you with us? Or did Gideon it's not, leave us? It's not with us. Can you recall any numbers off the top of your head, Joseph? Achat? Yes. Stein? Okay. Achat? Stein, Shalosh, Arba, Nice, Hamesh, Hamesh, Shisha, Sheva. It means seven. It's right. also a Swahili cognate, Sheva. Right. For seven. Right. Right. And then Ham, and then Shmona is the number eight shmona yes and then we have this this cognate the, for number tisha then right Aser for 10. very nice so tisha has the cognate in kiswahili trevor of tisa so we simply change the shin to a sin and we have the number nine and likewise for the number seven, Joseph, can you teach us that one? Yes. The Hebrew word Shiva, that means seven. Nice. It is also pronounced as Saba in Swahili to mean seven. Very and nice. we see that. We just convert the shin to sin and mm -hmm. the vet to bet. To bet. Nice. Awesome. Awesome. How about this next one? Shloshim is a Hebrew word for 30. That means the same thing with the Swahili word for 30, the Latini. The Latini. Yes. So this is, this is a more subtle relationship, but I see that the shin becomes the the, which is, a, I guess, a, a key Swahili stress. The yes, the, the Latini. In when some people want to say 30, they don't say the Ladini, 
They say oh. Salasini. Really? Yes. Wow. So that's even, in a way, closer even. So the TH can interchange. Ah, uh, very interesting. I'll go with Salasini. And then this is a nice one. Arba'im. It's a Hebrew word for 40. That also means Arbaine in Swahili. Very Arbaine nice. is a Swahili word for 40. Very nice. And uh, also for four. Yeah. We have a Swahili a word uh, Arba for four. Do we? Yes. Oh. We have wow. a Swahili word Arba for four. Uh -huh. And uh, Arbaine for 40. Hold on a sec. Let me. You can add it there. Yeah, let me add it. We have actually the Google is warning me that um, we're out of time. I'll, I'll add it later. But that, that'll, that'll take us. Uh, very far and beautifully presented, Joseph. I'm very grateful for that. Uh, we'll look at more of these cognates as a way to use our ears and to uh, connect with the Hebrew through the Kiswahili. Um, so it's, it's very helpful to also do conversational exercises where we are engaging our ear and not only, you know, reading off the page. It's a different way of of exposing ourselves to language. But that's a lot of fun. I love these cognates, and we'll do more with those. Um, Trevor, again, welcome, and thank you for another another class with us. We're so happy to have you. It's so awesome to have the country of Scotland so well represented. <laughs>